In my work, there is a nod to art history and a purposeful reinterpretation of historical works. Pop culture plays a subtle yet vital role in the work as well. A painting titled Appropriation in Blue and Red Number no. 1 is an homage to Whistler's work, Arrangement in Gray and Black Number no. 1. Additionally, in this composition, a glimpse into Van Gogh's Starry Night resides in a small painting on the back wall. As we delve deeper into the Starry Night, pop culture, Star Wars imagery, infiltrates and populates the whirling night sky. Appropriation plays a dual role in this work. The woman seated in a chair reclines back and appropriates knowledge while surfing the web on her iPad. As I too actively surf through art culture, pop culture, and art history and compose a new and vital contemporary narrative. For the work titled The Weight, the overarching narrative was distance. Little did I know that this work would become so relevant today. The intent for the work was to capture the awkward, often silent weight in a doctor's office, a nondescript space where patients sit at a comfortable distance. In the painting, we see two people intently focused on their cell phones, actively seeking connection, an irony that plays out daily. Each person is simultaneously connected and yet isolated a self-prescribed social distancing practice long before COVID-19. The work titled The Studio presents a moment of quiet yet intent contemplation, a different kind of work. The artist's studio is both sanctuary and workspace. Artists carry with them a knowledge of the past and are constantly seeking to evoke relevancy and peer into the future. In a single narrative, the past and present reside in the studio. My work frequently starts with photos I take during my daily routine. The work titled The Phone Booth originated from one of those average days. I was at once struck by the juxtaposition of the woman's traditional attire in the ever-present technology, the cell phone, as well as the very intimate moment in a very public setting. Through several edits, I composed a narrative that plays on that contrast of old school versus new. She is encased and immortalized in a booth of my making, thus the phone booth.